Okay, so this is moving day. I was in this site, and I'm going down to the far end of the uh, park to a different site. Old Guy on a Bike presents 106 Days on the Road. Come join me on my travels from Newfoundland to Alabama and back again. Okay, so that took me an hour to close up. It's going to take me at least an hour in the sun to uh, set up. So, Barachois Pond is one of the biggest campgrounds in the province. I spent three nights in the first loop of the park and now I'm going down to the far end and I'm actually booking myself in for a week. I've got lots of things to do in the area. I end up in a site right across from where I had company two weeks ago. Unfortunately, the one with the little private beach isn't available for the time period I need it. So I realize I have not done a video showing the setup of the Mini Mate in quite a while. So luckily on this particular day I did video my whole setup. I will admit I've speeded the footage up by about five times so you won't be here all afternoon. But in essence, for me to totally set up, it takes me about an hour. But that's because I've got a lot of stuff. I don't have a swivel hitch, so I've found that I quite often have to put a little something under the side stand to straighten the motorcycle up to make it a little bit easier to get the connector off the ball. But once that's done, just pull the, the trailer into place. We're going a little uphill. One of the most fun things is getting the legs down. Got a few tricks for that. I prop up the tongue so I can get the two front legs down, but always start with the rear get the two front down. I've got a one inch spacer between my axle and the tub which makes it a little bit easier now that it's raised. Some people have gone to a two inch raise but the one inch has been fine for me. Then it's a matter of leveling, checking my my bubbles on the front of the trailer to see if I'm level both back and forth and right to left. I've got in my black carrying case, I've got uh, my table for my propane stove, and I've also got the awning for the, uh, for the Mini Mate. Everyone wants to go on and on about how fast their tent trailer is to set up. Well, I want you to imagine from this point forward, if I'm not taking all of this stuff out, just how quick this actually would be. I could, probably could set it up in, oh, three minutes if all I was carrying was, was my sleeping bag inside. But I do have a lot of stuff. I'm glamping. I'm in comfort. Just set up my woods uh, folding table. That's where all of my gear will go. Uh, well, at least all my kitchen gear will go once I've got everything set up. So I get the, the tent partially set and then start pulling stuff out. The Mini Mate really is a lot like the TARDIS. It's a lot bigger on the inside.
I need a little bit more room. Time to get the bike out of the way. I finally get the inner poles fully extended and the side pole up. My awning poles and my tarp poles in two separate uh, sections of sewer pipe. It just keeps them together a little bit better. It does add a little bit of weight, yes, but I kind of like the fact that they're together and it keeps the uh, inside of the tent trailer a little bit cleaner. Now, I could probably attach those to the outside sides of the tub, but I don't want to make the Minimate any wider than it is. The Minimate is only an inch and a half wider on either side than my mirrors. Don't want to make it any wider than that. The awning attaches with two big zippers. Now there's some people who leave the awning attached all the time and just throw it up over the roof and fold it up with the tent when they fold everything together. I'm tall, it's not a big deal for me to uh, zip it on and zip it off and I kind of like having as much space on the inside of the, uh, the Mini Mate when I fold the, the lid down. My Mini Mate is about 22 years old and it comes with what was the factory awning at the time. It's interesting, I have four poles for my awning. The newer models only have three. When I bought mine, second, third, maybe fourth hand, in 2018. It came with the awning and it came with an add a room but I made the uh, the skirt to go around it. The skirt keeps some you know cold air from getting under the bed area and does help keep some of the totes protected when they're under there as well. It's just held on with clips and then pegged down to the ground. The outer room I have was an aftermarket one. So it just Velcros on like the ones that uh, Compact Camp sell, but it's nowhere near as nice. No windows, no door, just a slit. But the outer room is a really good space. It's meant that I can put my little kitchen set up inside if I want, and that uh, makes life a little bit easier. I never cook in it, but I do keep my kitchen supplies, my pots and pans, my extra totes, empty totes, and of course I've got a place to hang up my riding jacket and, and pants as well. Leave my boots. Yep, it's a really good space to have. So that took me about 45 minutes at a leisurely pace to get everything set up. I've got a lot of peripheral gear. If, uh, as I said before, if I was just traveling without all the cooking gear, the solar panel and stuff, I would be set up much, much faster. And if it's raining, I can get myself out of the wet in about five minutes. Now, speaking about rain, by the next day, I know I'm gonna have a little bit of rain coming in. So I did 
video this the next day and that's me putting up my my tarp I will link down below in the description a video on the tarp itself it's freestanding and it makes a huge difference if there's a little bit of rain or as a sunscreen in really hot weather very very rarely would I ever put it up if I was just staying in one place for for one night but I'm gonna be here for a week and I'll use it again over the course of the summer anytime that I'm gonna be set up for more than two or three days and I know I'll either have either really bad weather or conversely really sunny weather Now, I will be the first to admit that trailers are not for everyone. There's a lot of people who want to travel in a very minimalistic type of fashion. And that's fine. I, just, no, I applaud you. I'm getting too old to be sleeping on the ground, and I kind of like my comfort. I knew when I retired I'd be taking really long trips. So, to have the comfort makes all the difference in the world. I love the fact that I can carry my two burner stove and the five pound propane tank because I do like to cook in camp. It saves me money and usually I'm eating healthier than if I was taking advantage of fast food places all the time. The cooler is great to be able to carry. Usually, as long as I can find it, I can find ice for my bourbon. It will keep beer cold as well. Oh, and it will keep food cold too. So I can buy enough stuff for two or three days and just settle into a campground if I want to, relax, do some work, do even more relaxing, just contemplate life. Yep, so now I can get a little bit of work done, get caught up in a few things, but I got a lot more things to do before I start the rest of this journey. Thanks for coming along.